And uh, can I ask you an, sorry, kind of a risky, a little embarrassing question? Do you think they hire you because that you have skill as an actor? Or do you think they hire you because, oh yeah, his face fits this part and he doesn't embarrass the producers? I'm being crude with that question, but do you know what I mean? Are they really interested yeah. in, when you, talk, when you brought up with talent, are they really interested in what Graham Greene can create? Or yeah, he's the right face, put him in the part. Yeah, I did for a while. I, I, being that sort of uh, an actor, a bad guy, I started off in Longmire doing uh, that sort of thing. And, uh, well, I played bad guys before a, a, a film called Clear Cut, but I wasn't the bad guy. The bad guy I was taking care of for the guy who conjured me up. The guy who conjured me up didn't have the, the nerve or the, uh, the balls to uh, get a go after this guy. So I came in out of his dream that was based on a book called, by M.T. Kelly called A Dream Like Mine. And uh, I looked after everything, so I completely destroyed the mill owner and bang, bang, bang. And I, I came from the water and I went back to the water. So I was a bad guy, I guess you could say that. But were they hiring you for your skill or your art as an actor? Or were they hiring you because, yeah, you look right for the part? Okay. Well, it. at first it was, it was the hiring came from uh, an Oscar-nominated situation because I was nominated for an Oscar in 90. Is that Green Mile? Uh, no. What's the name of that movie? With Wolves? Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves, yeah. right. And uh, a lot of work came out of that. But after that, it's, uh, then it became because, I guess it would be my skill as a performer. Is I didn't sit around in my trailer doing anything. I hung around the set and I watched what lens the guy had on what angles they were, what the, where the lights were and everything. So there's things you do and things you should know and things you should know here before you step in front of a camera. Like don't mumble, the sound guys hate mumbling actors. You get an actor who goes It's really uninteresting to watch. You know? Look at me, look at the other actor. If the camera's on that side, look into this eye if it's here, look into there. Why? Because if you look into this side, it looks like you're looking way over there. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, see, yeah, stick with me, I'll have you farting through silk, kid. But uh, then it become, after that, it was the name, the, the three phases of an actor. Uh, who's Graham Greene? Second one is, get me Graham Greene. Third one is, get me Graham Greene type. And the fourth one is, who's Graham Greene? And where are you now in that? Uh, I'm still in the get Graham Greene to do this. Wow, well, it doesn't get better. Yeah, I like it. And, uh, That's good. You know, you stick around long enough, you, people in the business start to see you. And it's been a goal of mine to help younger directors and younger actors and younger producers to uh, go ahead and do it. So I loaned my name to a lot of projects. And uh, it wasn't for the money, it was just the you know, this is how it's done. You want to do it? I'll do it. So get your money off my name and let's do the project for your benefit, not for mine. I don't need it. I could have said no to you. Oh, so don't hold me, feel you're obliged to me, but do, it the, do the best you can. Do the best you can at what you do and uh, never mind what everybody else says.